Hello, my name is Seth from Simple Life Adventure and welcome to Laurelhurst Park in Portland, Oregon. This is a neighborhood park of ours for about the last eight years and we've seen some changes. The park itself is beautiful. There's a great kids playground. There's some tennis courts. There is a lot of space for kids to run around and it's been pretty well kept up. There's a um, basketball court. There's a big soccer field that a lot of kids play at. But in the last couple of years, we've seen the unfortunate homeless situation in Portland get quite, I'm not going to say out of control, but it, it has exploded. When we first started coming to this park years ago, eight years ago, there was typically one or two people that were camped out and they were under the picnic tables. There was no vehicles. There was no tents and they were usually dispersed during the daytime. They would go find some results to go. And then the last couple of years, I've noticed a bigger influx of vehicles, dwellers, and tents occupying the sidewalk. Never more than three or four, to, you know. But in the last couple of months with the pandemic situation that's happened and the coronavirus, the homeless, awareness situation, the houselessness problem has just literally blown up. And this is just going to be a quick little glimpse of what coming to our local kids park looks like now. It is tents upon tents upon tent going for a city block one direction and tents upon tents upon tents going for another city block on another direction. Um, there is hundreds of people right here in a one block radius, all camped out. There is broke down RVs, there's stolen bikes everywhere, there's trash, there is human waste, there is blatant drug use, there are needles and hypodermic needles, there's stolen bicycles everywhere. Just over the kids park itself, when the bathroom facilities get shut down, People will just poop right next to the kids' slide and the swings. Um, water get, has gotten shut off. It is getting to the point where it's become very uncomfortable to bring children here. Not really sure quite what we're going to encounter and see. Um, yeah, and it's all just gotten crazier. All of the kids' parks are like this. All, all of the city parks, it's just blown up. There's currently a biohazard hazard waste crew over here right now that is systematically picking up one encampment to the next. Um, I'll give you a quick little glimpse of them coming up right here. It's their job to literally come through and risk their lives disposing of needles and feces and waste. We got some of these folks over here in the red doing their job and they they walk around just picking up trash, doing stuff. As crazy as this sounds, when encampments, that's what we call them here, when encampments are disbanded and closed down, the belongings are stored off-site in a warehouse facility. This is correct, it does happen. Our taxpayer dollars are going to store homeless people's trash, waste, could be anything. If someone had a bunch of broken bicycles in front of their tent and their encampment was disbanded, those items are categorized, bagged up, shelved in a warehouse for, I think it's a month, where the person could go and claim it. Nobody really ever does, um, but that's what it looks like. I'll give you another little quick, quick glimpse here. <clears throat> Park the bike. You girls are good right there. So, just another little spot, little little envisionment of what it looks like. It wraps all the way around the park on two sides. It's off the main roads, it is shaded, there's a breeze, there is some facilities. So I understand them coming here, it's kind of a nice spot. But uh, 
This is what Laurel Horse Park looks like now. It is the middle of July 2020, in the middle of the pandemic. Hope everyone's safe.